Okay, tell me your name and who you're with. My name is Nancy Kreiser Jenkins. I'm with the Lewis Center for Educational Research in Apple Valley. And we're a charter school up there. Um, we operate radio telescopes that are out at Goldstone, Fort Irwin, and um, outside of Barstow. And we teach, we train teachers so that they can take it back to their classroom and kids can get real life hands on science, excuse me, edit, <laughs> hands on science, um, project based learning so that they can get more scientists and engineers involved in the future. Right now, there's kind of a gap in people retiring and more people coming up through the ranks. So we try to get more kids interested in science. Um, the teachers get trained, it takes about two hours online, it's free, go back to the classroom and then there's different programs they can run. There's SETI, um, Crab Pulsar, Quasars, um, Jupiter 24, Juno, we've done L-Cross, Mars mapping for the rover landings, all kinds of different programs. So it gives the kids an opportunity to do hands-on real science. We have the uh, partnership with JPL and NASA and um, the scientists here at JPL actually um, have come up to our, our school, or they'll go to the other schools, and they, they um, help to create a learning environment for the kids. They, brought, they bring the science and the technical um, issues um, with them so they can discuss with the kids, go over the data, and help us out explaining things. Um, I don't know what else you want. Tell me how you came to acquire this yeah. big dish. This is this is really impressive. Um, the CEO of our company um, saw that they were decommissioning DSS-12, and so he talked to Congressman Lewis, and he said that they got it worked out where we could actually have it donated to the school. Well, he went out there with the pickup truck to go get this antenna. When he went out there, he's like, "Oh my gosh, it's a hundred feet tall. You can't move it." So we ended up. Um, writing software so that we could run it over the internet and eventually that software, well initially it was like doing faxes back and forth but now with the internet and everything it's really fast so we just basically run it over our Java and from the classrooms and that's all they need. That's fantastic. What did this antenna do before? Um, well the 28 used to be part of the Star Wars program. Um, that's our newest antenna, it's the faster antenna. And DSS-12, I'm not sure what exactly it did but um, it was built in like 1963. And then wow. I think about 1967 or so, it was um, changed from 26 meters to 34 meters. That's why you can see that line kind of around the top. Right. When they expanded the dish, they had to actually put it up on those blocks because when they tipped it to the side, it would hit the ground. So <laughs> that's what made it, you know, get those big blocks underneath. Wow. Nancy, thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate welcome. you telling us about your program. Thank Have you. a great day. You too. Bye-bye.